Hello my watercolor friends. Today we are going to paint a landscape. I'd like to name it Rocky Mountain High. After wetting the paper we will start with yellow ochre, phalo blue and ultramarine blue, creating a split fountain. Split fountain is a technique of blending ink to create a rainbow effect, often used in lithography and screen printing. While the paint is still wet, I use a napkin and lighten the rock formation. Start with yellow ochre and phalo green, then change back to phalo green. Along with the green trees, I like to use extra water. It helps watercolor paint move on the paper very nicely, including small brush strokes indicating an horizon line. Ultramarine blue, a very vibrant color compared to the sky's phalo blue. For the mountain range, add a little ultramarine blue to paint gray. When I was at UCLA, my favorite art classes were multi-plate etchings. Now I'm back to watercolor, which I was doing a lot in Switzerland. I miss the Alps, but love California sunshine. So I'm telling myself we can't have everything. For the lighter areas, use rosiana and blend the two colors together with water. Time to think of our foreground. I'm partial to rocks, as a matter of fact, because of no rain and thus water shortage, I planted succulents around rocks I found on the beach. So let's start with paint gray and yellow ochre. With paint gray and rosiana, I indicate small rocks along the left bank. Then I soften the colors with water. I 
I think the background could use a couple of realistic pine trees. Add a touch of yellow ochre to phalo green for above the rocks. It's time for our last touch-ups. Ultramarine blue for the water, paints grey around the rocks, rose sienna and cadmium yellow for highlights and finally some phalo green. Thank you for being here. Hope to see you soon again.